Welcome back to RK Garage again. Uh, he's using the car. We're gonna turn her on, set base timing today. Show you guys a bit of what's going on. Um, full disclosure, I have started it up. It does run, it does work. Had a few wiring issues I had to sort out, so I think I spent two or three days trying to fix that. Uh, since you guys last put us in this, but I got to get set up. My laptop runs out of power. As soon as you unplug it, the battery's fucked. So I got to run a lead into the car. Um, that's about it really, pop the hood and whatnot. And uh, once I've done that, I'll show you guys the coils because I don't think you could see very well in the last video. So I'll get back to you guys then. All right, so everything's been set up. Ended up going to the shop, squeaky little bunnings, but it's all plugged in, laptop's on. You know this shit, this contraption is just to get the fuel pumps running at the moment. I'm redoing them and remounting everything all in the, the boot for it. In case you guys couldn't see too well before, coils mounted there, the other side's mounted there, the timing light here, well you can see one section here that I've marked, but I've actually marked it on top of there to reference off this point here, paint pen just ran a bit, but, but uh, yeah I'm going to start it up and dial the timing in. So, I'll set you guys up on the tripod and um, yeah, you can watch the process from the outside and whatnot, and then we'll jump to on the inside and we'll see how it goes. All right, so airplane's gone now, you guys can hear me. Um, had some issues getting it started, it was just the crank table with the fuel enrichment. Actually, I just had to add 10% and then she fired right up, so. Uh, it took me a while to figure that out, but it's all sorted now. So now I'm going to start it up and set the base timing. So I'll put you guys down and we'll go from there.
of that is uh, the ignition angle set, basically offset. So it locks the timing at 10 degrees. You set it on the ECU, you set a timing light up, and then you have to put numbers in of an offset angle. So basically, the ECU might be commanding 10 degrees, but what the motor is actually at will be different. So you set the offset angle. So because it's obviously a um, full revolution, it's 360 degrees or 180 times two, whatever, or 360 times two, whatever the fuck it is. Basically, you got number zero to 360. Um, offset angle for me was 20, which worked out perfect. Lined up exactly 10 degrees before top dead center. Um, starting a little high, I've got to adjust the idle to get it a little bit lumpy again. But I'm gonna fuck around with that. And um, I'll get back to you guys then. So, got my idle a bit lower. Swinging the timing, doing the dodgy, making a lump a bit hard. A bit of smoke, there's a bit of oil, but it's just seeping on the engine bay. But take you around the back. Film an outro out there, but that's where I'm gonna leave that video at. Um, next one, hopefully, I'll get it on the road and do a little bit of road training. See how it drives. Just gotta sort out a power inverter for the laptop because she dies, or try to dig up on a old laptop, see if it works. But um, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys on the next one. See you later, cunts. <laughs>